Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Nasir Zawad and I welcome you all to the second class of O-Level Chemistry on the Periodic Table. Previously, we learned about what a periodic table is, some of the basic patterns and trends in a periodic table. But in today's class, we are going to learn about the names of groups in a periodic table, the physical and the chemical properties of elements in it, and some of the patterns the elements follow in the respective groups. So without any further ado, let us begin. And here we begin with learning the names of the groups in a periodic table. So the name of the elements that are in group one are known as the alkali metals. Similarly, the elements that are in group two are known as the alkali earth metals. On the other hand, the elements in group number seven are known as the halogens. And the elements of group number zero, or which we also call group number eight, they are known as noble gases. And the elements that are in between the groups, these are known as the transition metals. Now let us learn more and in details about the alkali metals or the elements of group number one. So the metals of group number one we are going to study in O levels are lithium, sodium and potassium. They are the most reactive of all metals. They will react violently with water, chlorine and oxygen. And with oxygen and chlorine, they burst into flames. And when heated with oxygen, lithium gives off a red flame. Sodium gives off a yellow flame, while the potassium gives off a lilac flame. They form colorless salts with chlorine. And since they are metals, when they react with nonmetals, they form ionic compounds. The physical properties of the alkali metals are also very interesting. Like the, all the other metals, they are good conductors of heat and electricity. However, unlike the other metals, they are soft. They are so soft that you can even cut it with a normal knife. Besides, they are very shiny and silvery. And unlike all the other metals, they have low densities. And the top three elements of group number one, lithium, sodium, and potassium, have densities so low that they can float in water. And also, they have low melting and boiling points, which is also unlike the other metals. Now, let us look at some of the patterns of alkali metals or the elements in group number one. As you can see on the right side of the screen, these are the metals or the elements that we have in group number one. And as we go down the group, they follow a specific pattern. For example, the softness and density increase down the group, while the melting and the boiling point decrease as we go down the group. Similarly, the size of the element increases as we go down the group. Likewise, the reactivity of elements also increase as we go down the group. Now, you may have a question why the reactivity of elements increase as we go down the group. This is very interesting. It is because that when the size of the elements increase as we go down the group, the number of electron shells increase as a result the one valence electron that these metals have gets farther away from the positively charged nucleus at the center. As a result, it becomes easier for this one electron to get away from its structure. So as we go down the group, the size of the elements increase. So the distance between the positively charged nucleus and the valence electron increases. As a result, the Balance electron can get away from the shell easily. That's why the reactivity increases as we go down the group. Now, as we are done learning the properties and patterns of alkali metals, let us move on to halogens. And the halogens we are going to study for all levels are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So these halogens are very poisonous. They form colored gases and liquids at room temperature, such as fluorine is a yellow gas, chlorine is a green gas, bromine is a red liquid, while iodine is a black crystalline solid, which is an exception. And when these elements are solid, they're very brittle and crumbly. However, they do not conduct electricity or heat. Now, like all the groups in a periodic table, halogens do also have some certain patterns. For example, size, mass, and density increase down the group. 
and the reactivity decreases down the groove, while the color of the elements darkens down the groove. Now, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, you can like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any queries, let us know in the comments down below. Thank you so much.